The playoffs are here. Welcome to our NBA playoff preview show here on ESPN. Alongside Jalen Rose and Doug Collins, I'm Sage Steele. Here's the best part of it. Doug, you have to sit next to Jalen for the next hour. I get to sit next to the man. <laughs> the Larry O'Brien Trophy, which will be awarded to one team, one of these teams left, uh, no later than June 19th on ABC. The question is, how do we get there? By the way, real quick, Jalen Rose, um, a little disappointed. You and I, I thought we are on the same page fashion-wise. <laughs> the playoffs had to bring uh -huh. my A game. If that's what you consider an A game, then I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Stripes all weekend. <laughs> and we're going to have a great hour preview show besides Jalen Sue. I love you. In the meantime, all the action begins. Getting set to. I've been really going to waste time asking you which series that you believe is the most intriguing out of all of those. Because it seems like everybody, not just here, but nationally agrees. It's that 3-6 matchup, the Clippers and the Spurs. Jalen, I'm going to start with you. Tell me why, specifically, you believe that this is the two hottest teams in the association facing off right off the bat. Okay, it's going to be intriguing to say the least. And, and Doug, specifically, when you look at these two offenses, both are pretty potent, pretty darn efficient. The Clippers, number one overall in offensive efficiency, the San Antonio Spurs, seventh. So similar, but you say also quite different. How? Well, the Spurs really pushed the ball up the four stage. 35th overall pick in the 2012 NBA draft from Michigan State. Saginaw's own. Who Michigan are we? Saginaw Pride. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> What's up, Daddy? Wow. Draymond Green, not everybody, going on. not everybody gets that kind of welcome from the one and only Jalen Rose. Th thank you for being with us here as we count down to the postseason. And let's quickly... Re You're like this, uh, obviously, you guys are having going to the playoffs. Was there a moment during the season, was there a specific win that you guys... I could listen to him talk all day long. And especially the next time we interview Draymond, <laughs> we'll go further into the art of trash talk because... You're one of the better ones, I believe, right now in the NBA. <laughs> you know, I, I watched it. So we're going to go matchup by matchup now in the Eastern Conference, and there's a storyline with every single matchup, starting with the top-seeded Hawks, who will face the Nets. Atlanta swept the season series, winning the four games by an average margin of 17 points per contest. Two-seed Cavaliers will face the Celtics. You might remember the last time LeBron played a playoff game for the Cavs four years ago. He was removing that Cavs jersey after the loss to Boston. Bulls are the three seed. They'll meet the Milwaukee Bucks. Derrick Rose will appear in his first playoff game since 2012 when he suffered that first major injury, that ACL tear. It's been a long road since. And the Raptors are at four. Well, they will, will face the Wizards. Toronto swept this season series three games to none. And by the way, Toronto's 49 wins a franchise high. Best season in franchise history. So let's continue the storylines and go back, guys, to that 2-7 matchup between the Cleveland Cavaliers. <sighs> the Cleveland Cavaliers and... The Boston Celtics, because this, this one's interesting to me. Both of you guys are pretty sure that the Cavs are going to take conference we go for storylines there. The top-seeded Warriors will face the Pelicans, and according to Anthony Davis, there was some trash talk between the teams in their last meeting on April 7th. Davis said he took it personally. We'll see. The two-seeded Rockets will face the seven-seeded Mavs. Houston won three of their four matchups this season. Houston looking to win its first playoff series since 09. We already talked about that phenomenal 3-6 showdown between the Clippers and the defending champions from San Antonio. Hard to believe that one of the two hottest teams in the league will be going home after round one. And the Trailblazers will face the Grizzlies despite being the five seed Memphis has home court because they finished with a better record than Portland so let's get back on this now and we began the show talking about that phenomenal 3-6 matchup there in the West so let's move on here um, because 